Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today we're going to talk about seven lazy habits that may be causing you game and the number one bad habit that I see causing players to not just miss shots, but sometimes lose an entire match. So let's get started. Counting backwards. Number seven, not using the bridge when you need the bridge. People hate using it so much. Guys have derogatory names for it. You're going to lose games if you don't pick up the bridge. Oh, but I can reach down there and I can make the shot. Well, here's the part that everybody forgets to factor in. Yes, you might be able to reach down table and have a ridiculous looking bridge and still make the shot, but that has caused you position in many cases. You make the shot, but in the meantime, you're sending your cue ball places where you didn't want it to go. Why? because you weren't able to follow through and execute the shot properly. Now, on the other hand, a lot of times we avoid the bridge for the exact same reason. If that's the case, I expect you to do two things. One, learn to play better position so you don't leave yourself this bridge shot. This is why you don't see pros with the bridge in their hand. Not because they're too good to pick it up, it's because they're too good to leave themselves shots that they're gonna need to bridge so often. The other thing that you can learn to do is play with your off hand, get an extension for the cue, but a lot of times you need the extension and the bridge. Don't forget, just because you have the extension doesn't mean you're, you don't need the bridge. Number six, very similar to not picking up the bridge, not picking up the short cue. If you play in a room where you have obstacles, where your regular shot is going to put your cue against the wall and as a result you need to jack up. You need to have a, a small cue in the room that is going to allow you to have a legitimate stroke. This is not winning games for you. You need to level out your cue, you need to shoot a proper shot and why would you not walk to the other end of the room to make sure that you make the shot and once again get position. It's not enough to put the ball in the pocket. If you're jacked up, you have limited the number of shots and how you can take those shots. So take the extra steps, pick up the bridge, pick up the short cue, come back to your shot, play your shot, and win more games. Number five, not chalking up. If you're not chalking up on every shot, every important shot, every key shot, every shot, then you are not chalking up enough. Yes, there are situations where we shoot a ball in, and then we have a simple shot that we don't need to put any chalk on our cue because no chalk came off of our cue. You'll see a lot of pro players play their key ball and then they just walk over and shoot in that last ball without chalking up. But the chalk is coming off your tip. This is the best chalk in the business right here in my hand. You know what? It'll stay on my cue 10, 15, 20 shots maybe, but you don't know at which point the chalk is gone. It is ridiculous to not chalk up because the chalk is at the other end of the table. If you ever noticed, I only keep one piece of chalk on my table at a time, and that's so I'm never shooting at the chalk. What does that mean? The chalk is sitting there and I'm shooting at it. I used to have three or four pieces on the table and you were always shooting at chalk because it was all over the place. Get down to one or two pieces of chalk and use chalk properly. Even the best chalk on the planet is not designed for you to skip shots. All these videos where somebody shows you, look, you can do 15 shots before you miss cue with this chalk. They're meaningless. It doesn't matter because if you're skipping 15 shots before you put chalk on the cue, you are playing a game called wait until you miss cue. Don't skip putting the chalk on your cue. Best chalks ever will stay there for a very long time. They are not designed for you to use every four or five shots. They're designed for you to use during each shot and for it to stay on your cue properly and give you more grip and more friction on the ball. Number four, skipping your pre-shot routine or not having a pre-shot routine. What is your pre-shot routine? It is everything you do from the time that ball stops rolling to the time you actually shoot it again. It means how you walk around the table, how you look at the shot how you chalk up your cue, chalk up your cue, how you stand here, look at the shot, get in line with the shot, execute the shot and stay down. That is all part of your pre-shot routine up until the point where you actually execute the shot. Number three, related to the pre-shot routine, not looking at the line of the shot. You've got a difficult shot on the table, 
Why not stand over here, take a look at the shot, get back over here. Most of you are not on a shot clock. If you're not taking your time on these shots, then you are being lazy because you're sacrificing shots and games because you won't come over here, take a look at what the shot looks like, make sure that it passes another ball, get down on the shot, execute the shot and make more shots. Why? Because you did what the best players in the world do and stand over there and take a look at it. Don't get lazy on difficult shots. A lot of people get caught dropping their fundamentals and their basics when they have a difficult shot. You know why? Because they've given themselves a pass to miss this shot. Number two, this affects advanced players more than it does any other players. Not playing the proper patterns. Why? Because you can do things with the cue ball, you don't play the patterns that you should be playing. You get lazy. Why? You're going to be out, right? You have something that looks like this. You're playing eight ball. Advanced player, you could shoot these in any order you wanted to. You're going to be out. But that's not the way you want to shoot them. You want to shoot them in a way that increases your odds so that the odds of you not being out get closer to zero than just 5% where a lot of advanced players, I see you looking at these and you're like, I could run these from anywhere. You take your ball in hand, you put it anywhere you want and just start shooting balls off. Why? Because you know you can get on that eight ball. But what happens? Sometimes things break down, you overshoot a shot, you took something for granted, you didn't realize that, hey, I should have played this simple pattern and done it right. Number one problem with players of all levels are what we call the anyways. You get over here, you did the lining up, you did the chalking, you did your pre-shot, you did everything. And you got down here and it just did not feel right. My hand didn't feel like it was in the right position. It was kind of cocked underneath my body. There was something under my foot. Somebody walked by and distracted me. I decided not to shoot it with draw, but I decided to shoot it with follow. And you know what I did? I got down on the shot, I changed my mind, and I shot it anyway. That's madness. And I see it constantly. I tell people all the time, you changed your mind on the shot, didn't you? Oh yeah, I was going to shoot it with draw and then I decided to shoot it with high left. But you didn't stand back up. You shot it anyway. Somebody distracted you. You shot it anyway. Guys, it takes five seconds to stand back up, get back down in your, in your position, do your pre-shot and shoot the ball. Stop missing shots because you shoot the anyways. Those of you who haven't thought about this in the past, you're gonna see it in yourself all the time now. Everybody does it. The difference between you and high ranked players is that the high ranked player has much fewer anyways because the stakes are higher. Give us a thumbs up, hit us in the comments, let me know if there's any lazy moves that I didn't mention in this video because there are a couple more out there. If there's any that you see players doing and if I sound angry in this video, you're new to the channel. <laughs> I get angry because I don't like to see players that could play better play lesser simply because they're being lazy. That's the genesis of this video. I want you to play well, and if I gotta talk to you mean, just consider it tough love. Have a great day.